Welcome, my dear students. Now, every day we face situations and issues that require us to think of ways to solve them. Even though having more than one way of solving a problem is considered an, is considered an advantage. Sometimes you need to know when we decide that one solution is the best. Imta nhadid the solution that is the best. And which one will take less time and effort. وأنه solution أو أنه طريقة لا تاخد مننا less time وقت أقل وأفرت أقل That's why we learn more than one way عشان كده بنتعلم أكتر من طريقة عشان نحل problems بتاعتنا So we can choose the best according to the situation or the problem That's the same thing we have done together when solving multiplication problems now we have practiced solving problems with more than one strategy. We have problems with more than one strategy, like the area model with partial products algorithm and the standard algorithm, so that each of you can choose what's the best for them. And we can review our answers in more than one way. Today, we will connect the strategies. We will connect the strategies in lesson five in concept one, which is called Review Connecting Strategy. I will focus on using the standard algorithm to multiply a one-digit number by a whole number with up to four digits. Now we want to use our understanding of the strategies at the start of access on page 277 on your school book. Let's see it all together. And now in page 220, 277, I see Ali how Ali answered the problem and how we regrouped is they am a regroup when he wanted to know the number of tires that are 1532 quad bikes. Tell back Okay. Here's Ali. He wants to know how many tires are on 1532 quad bikes. Now I want you to read and understand very well what you are asked to do. I will give you some time to write your explanation and when we are back, I, we will continue all together. And now just like you have seen our friend Ali Amal E, Amal regroup in the hundred and thousand, زي ما احنا شايفين اهو عمل group لل hundred وال thousand okay طيب do you remember what regrouping means فاكرين يعني ايه اصلا regrouping rearranging numbers based on place value regrouping the placed on or based on place value of the products that's because we add the products after we multiply according to the place value in order to get the correct product okay طيب like we said at the start Today we want to connect multiplication strategies. We will do that right now, but in the form of a game. Dilwati Bahanilab game found in the first part of build. Look, this is our game. It is found in the first part of the build on page 278 of your school books. Now, this game I will play it with three of our friends to help uh, me or to help me to form this game. And now let's welcome our friends all together. And now it's time to play our very interesting game, which is called Matching the Models. This game I played with our three friends. Okay, let's welcome them first. Hi, what's your name? My name is Sama. Sama, how are you, Sama? Uh, I am fine, thank you. Are you ready to play with me? Yes. Okay, and what's your name? My name is Adam. Adam? Are you ready, Ada? Yes. Okay. Hi, what's your name? My name is Rudaina. Rudaina, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You like math, Rudaina? Yes. Okay, and you want to play with me? Yes. Okay. طيب, uh, this game is, consists of three sets. دلوقتي احنا عندنا three sets. The three sets دول فيهم multiplying problems. كل set محلولة ب different way. The first set is standard algorithm. The second set is, is partial products algorithm the third set is solved by the area model strategy okay type our friends each friend of them will take one set of them وبعدين هنختار matching cards let's start all together okay now come Sama please to take your cards 
Here are your cards, Yasama. You will pick the matching card with your friends, okay? Yalla, thank you so much. Come here, Ada. And these are, this is your cards, yeah, Adam. You will pick the matching card with your friends, okay? Rodaina, come please. These are your cards, yeah, Rodaina. You will pick the matching cards with your friends, okay? Yeah. And now I will start with you, yeah, Adam. Are you ready, yeah, Adam? Yes. Can you pick one card from your set? Okay. Okay, you find the number? Yes. Type. This is 17 times 4. Type. Now, can you show your friend, Sama? Look, yes, Sama, at his number. You see it? Okay. And now, look, Yerudina, at the same number. Okay, wait, yeah, Adam. You know the number, Yerudina? Okay. Now, Sama and Rodina, the way it's to look into to find the matching cards. Yeah, find the matching cards. Daru Talauli, the same problem? Mil cards betaitku? Okay, take your time. Okay, now do you find the cards, the matching cards? Yes. Okay, Sama, are you ready? Do you find the matching card? Yes. Can you show me your card? Okay, can you tell us, yes, Sama, yes, it is the same problem, 17 times 4. Okay, can you tell us, yes, Sama, how is it? 7 by 4. Yes? Uh, 10 times 4. Yes, do you know that this is the partial products algorithm? Yes. Okay. Now, can you show you, Adam, me the problem? Okay. Yes, the same problem, 17 times 4. Do you know why I regroup the two, yeah, Adam? Yes. Who oh, I'm 17 times 4, they are 4 times 7, be 28. Mish. In fact, be 28. Kula. Of hack course. Hack tip 8, and I have 4 or 2. Yes, I put two because it is the tenth, yeah. right? Yeah, a four times one before you put a two, you a four, five, six, or active six, to be able sixty-eight. Super boy. Do you know that this is the standard four? Yes. Okay. And Rodina, show me your problem here, Rodina. Yes, it's the same problem. I see. It's the area model strategy, right? Type what plus what? Uh, Ten plus seven. 10 plus 7, and then he multiply each number by what? 4. By 4. Yani yeah, amal 10 times 4 and then 7 times 4. And you know, we must add the two numbers to get the answer, right? Okay, and this is the area model strategy. Uh, 7 times 4, uh, 28. Yes. 10 times 4, 40. And then, what should we do? 4, four, uh, four plus uh, 2, 6. The area is 68. I will add the two numbers, right? Okay, super girl. Thank you so much. Type, let's play once more the same game. Type, but this time I will choose Sama. Can you uh, uh, make one card? I'll choose one card from your set, yeah, Sama? Yalla, choose another card from your set. Okay, and now can you show me, yeah, Sama, your problem? Okay. Okay, yes, I see that it is 62 times 5. Okay. And now, ممكن تقول لنا يا سما, how can we solve it? محلول عندك ازاي يا سما? 2 by 5, 10. Yes. 60 by 5, 300. طيب, show me كده يا سما again. يعني هو أول حاجة عملها, 2 times 5 gives me 10. وبعدين عمل إيه? 60 times 5 gives me 300. Right? And you know this is called the partial products algorithm. Hey, di tari it partial product algorithm. Okay? Now you understand it very well? Yeah. Okay, show me, Adam, your matching card, please. Yeah, show me. Okay. Okay. 
I'm waiting. This is the same card. Yes, I see it is the same problem, 62 times 5. But he solved it in different way, right? Yes. OK, show me, Adam. 62 times 5. 5 times 2, then I'll 0 and put 1 on 6. I don't want to write 10 all. Uh, it's 5 times 6, 30. And with 1, it's 31. Okay, show me, Adam, your problem again. Yes. 62. Yes, you say that he regroup 1 because 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 5, 10. I put zero, 0 down. I put 0 and put 1 on 6. Yes, and that's why I regroup 1, right? Yes. yes. Then. Tip, tip, uh, six, uh, 6 times 5 equals 30. And with 1, it equals 31. Okay, can you show your friends your answer? Yes, Adam. Yes, show me Adam, please. As Adam said that 5 times 2 gives me 10, so I put 0 down and carry up 1. This is called regrouping. And then 5 times 6, 30, plus 1, 31. And this is called the standard algorithm. Now we understand this method very well, yeah, Adam? Thank you so much. Type, let's see Rudina. And now show me, Rudina, please, your problem. OK. OK. And now, as Rudina said that, he multiply 2 times 5 first equals 10, and then multiply 60 times 5 equals 300. And then we add the two numbers to get the final answer, right? And this is what is called the Rudina, the area model strategy. Now we understand it very well? Yes. OK, now we will make another round. It's your turn, Rudina. Can you choose one card from your set? Yes. Yalla, choose one card. Okay. 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 You choose one card. Okay. Show me your problem. Okay. This 500 plus 30 plus 5. Okay. Now, can you show your friends, your friend Adam first? Look at Adam very carefully. Okay? Okay. Because you will choose matching card. Take your time. You found the same card? OK. And now, look, Yasama, you found the same card? You found the same problem? OK. Show me your problems. Yes, I see that it is. Show me, Adam. It is 535 times 2. The same here, 500 plus 30 plus 5 times 2. And the same problem here. OK. I will ask you, Rudina. This is what? This is the area model strategy, right? طب هو حلها زي رودينا. هو عمل 500 plus 30 plus 5 times 2. 500 plus 30 plus 5 times 2. Then? I'm uh, 2 times 5 equal 10. 2 times 30 equal uh, 60. 2 times 500 equal 1000. يعني هو عمل each number, he multiply each number by 2, right? And then what should I do? I will add all the numbers, right? Okay, uh, 1,000, 60, 1. And this is the final answer? Yes. So you know that this is the area model strategy. You understand it very well? Yes. Okay, show me, Adam, your problem, please. Okay, I see that it is the same problem, 535 times 2. Can you tell me why he regrouped the one here, Adam? Yes. Uh, هو هنا, uh, 5 times 2, then I have 0, my 1 is 3. Tip and that's why we regroup the 1? Yes, tip a 2 times 3, 6, so my 1, tip a 7. Will, uh, with 2 times, uh, two times 5, but then I have 0, I will comma, I have 1. Yeah, and he start to multiply the 1s, and then 10s, and then 100, right? Yes. Okay, and this is what is called the standard algorithm. You know that? Yes. Is it easy method to solve the problems with? Yes. OK. Now, show me, Asama. Yes, it is the same problem, but with different answer or with different method, right? Can you tell us how to solve it, Asama, or how to solve it? Yes. Uh, 5 by 2, uh, 10. Uh, 60 by 5, 60. Five hundred by two, uh, one thousand. Okay, show me again, Yasama. Yes, as Sama said, 
he start to decompose the number, okay? Five times two equals 10, and then what? 30. 30 times two equals 60, and then the last number, 500 times two equals? 1,000. 1, Excellent. Okay, and now I hope you understand these three methods very well. And now you, want, you can choose any one. It's very easy for you to solve the problems. Yes. Okay, now we know how easy it is to solve the problems. Yes. Okay, and you know the connections between the three methods? Yes. Okay, now I want to thank you so much. Thank you, Radina. You're welcome. Was it an interesting game for you? Yes. You enjoy it? Yes. Okay. Now, thank you, Adam, so much. You're welcome. Do you enjoy playing with me this game? Yes. And do you know the connections between the three methods? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. And thank you so much, Yasama. You're welcome. I love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and you all, do you enjoy the game? Yes. And now I was so happy to see you today, and I want to play with you another games, okay? Okay. Thank you so much, and see you soon, inshallah. Okay, and now let's continue our lesson all together. And now let's start to solve uh, page 278 of the second part of BUILT. Now we have five multiplication problems. As you see here, there are five multiplication problems answered using the standard algorithm. We want to circle, I see now circle our problem if the solution is correct. And if the solution is incorrect, we'll underline it. Now I'll give you time to think of a solution to one problem of your choice. And when we are back, we will discuss your answers all together. And now when I asked your friends in my class, I found that they all agreed كلهم كانوا مفقين of on the following. In problem number one, the answer is incorrect. كلهم قالوا لي in problem number one, the answer مش صح. Why? Because the student didn't regroup when multiplying the tens. ما مش regroup لما عمل multiplying لل tens. Because the product is 17, right? So he didn't regroup. We are supposed to add seven in the tens. كان مفوض يحط seven in the tens and then carry up one, okay? So we can add it after multiplying or multiplication to get 474. يعني لو كان حلها صح كنا هنلاقي ال answer the right answer is 474. So this is incorrect answer. طيب تعالوا نشوف بقى قالوا لي ايه في problem number two. في problem number two the solution is correct. كلهم قالوا لي ان the solution في number two is correct. So let's circle problem number two. طيب in problem number three. Problem number three here. كلهم قالوا لي ان ال answer is incorrect. كلهم قالوا لي لا هم حلهاش بطريقة صح. Why? Because the student didn't regroup at all when multiplying in the ones place, with tens place, with how many hundred place. ما عملش أي regrouping خالص. يعني for example, two times is sixteen. He put only six when he is doing regrouping the one on the tens. Okay? That's why the answer here is wrong. The correct thing is to do is regroup to get one hundred ninety six. يبقى لو كان حلها صح كان ال answer بتاعه هيبقى one hundred ninety six. طيب تعالوا نشوف بقى قالوا لي ايه problem number four in problem number four the solution is correct it's right كلهم قالوا لي ان problem number four is right so we will circle it as you see here and then finally in problem number five the solution is incorrect كلهم قالوا لي in problem number five it is incorrect محلهاش صح ليه because the student regrouped هو عمل فعلا regroup زي ما احنا شايفين كده عمل 3 وال 4 وال 1 عمل regroup but he didn't add in the value on top after multiplying يعني عمل 6 times 6 36 عمل فعلا regroup بس عمل 6 times 8 ونسي يعمل add لل 3 tenths okay that's why he solved it in a wrong way طيب لو كان student added after multiplying لو كان عمل add لل 3 after multiplying the correct answer will be 7716 I want you to check these answers and now we have reviewed together the solutions and everyone checked the answer to the problem they choose 
After practicing multiplication problems using more than one strategy باستخدام أكتر من strategy, let's head to connect on page 279 on your school book. Let's move to connect. طيب, and here is the connect part as you see here. Using our own words, we want to summarize. تعالوا بقى نعمل summarize what it is very important, why it is very important to have more than one way. ليه مهم جدا إن إحنا يبقى عندنا دايما more than one way or more than one strategy عشان نحل ال problems بتاعتنا. Whether it is to check your answer or have an alternative solution, you can discuss this. ممكن تناقش الكلام ده مع each other in your class or مع each friend. In your class, they ممكن حد يقول that they prefer to use the strategy. ممكن حد يقول أنا بفضل أستخدم الاستراتيجي that they have practiced more. اللي أنا بستخدمها كتير أو بعمل practice كتير عليها لغاية لما أعرف أستخدمها كويس قوي. Okay, and make it faster in solving my problems. They ممكن حد تاني يقول that another one may say that they use the strategy. بستخدم the strategy اللي بتساعدني to reach the solution the fastest. بستخدم strategy بتساعدني في وقت قصير قوي أحل the problem بتاعت. This is now your own turn to answer according to your preference. أي حاجة بتفضلها أو أي strategy بتفضلها ممكن تستخدمها في الحل بتاعك. Now you can use numbers, you can use words, ممكن نستخدم symbols to explain عشان نشرح الانسر بتاعنا. This will be an important reference for us as we are learning mathematics. And now let's master multiplication in the practice part on page 279 on the same page on your school books. We will find some practice problems. زي ما احنا شايفين كده عندنا some practice problems. We want to solve using the standard algorithm strategy. لازم احلها using the standard algorithm strategy. طيب, to apply what we have learned. عشان نطبق بقى كل اللي احنا تعلمناه. And now I'll give you some time to answer problem number one and two. And when we get back, I will discuss the solutions and the answers of all the problems. And now let's see how we have answered the problems. Okay, now you know problem number one and two are very easy. You can solve them by your own using the standard algorithm. And now let's start to solve with each other problem number three. طيب هي problem number three بتقولي إيه؟ You want me to multiply twenty-seven times three. Twenty-seven times three. طيب أنا هعملها إزاي؟ I'll put them under each other. يعني هعمل 27 times 3. Okay? طيب تعالوا كده step by step. I will start with the ones. يعني هعمل 3 times 7. Hey, 3 times 7 equals what? 21. Right? 3 times 7 equals 21. So, I will put the 1 in the ones place and I will carry up 2 or regroup it on the tens. لأن أنا عندي دلوقتي 2 tens. Then, I will multiply the tens. So, 3 times 2. Here, 3 times 2 equals what? 6. 6 what? خدوا بالكو إن 2 دي tens. So, it is 6 tens. يعني 60. Right? يبقى كني بالضبط بعمل 3 times 60. 3 times 20 equals 60. طيب. 60 plus 2 tens. يعني 60 plus 20 equals what? 60 plus 20 equals 80. أو 8 tens. So, what should I do? 80 هعملها إزاي? Okay. I will put 80 like this, okay? So, and I will add the two answers. You have a 1 plus 80 gives me what? 1 plus 80, of course, gives me 81, and this is my answer, okay? And now, let's move to problem number four. By the same way, كل problem دي هحلها using the standard algorithm. تعالوا كده نحل مع بعض problem number four. Okay, let's solve problem number four all together. طيب. Problem number four, he want me to multiply 204 times two. Okay, yeah, but first of all, I will write it under each other, 204 times two. By the same way, I will start with the ones. Yeah, but Hamil, two times four. Here, yeah, two times four equals what? Equals eight, excellent. So I will put eight in the ones place. But then I will multiply the tens. Yeah, but Hamil, e. Hamil, two times zero. 
Any number times zero gives me zero, okay? So I will write here zero in the tens place. وبعدين هعمل ايه؟ I'll multiply by the hundred. يبقى two times two hundred. Two times two hundred equals what? Equals four hundred. So I will write here four hundred. طيب انا خلصت كده. No, I should add all these numbers. يبقى four hundred plus eight. The answer is four hundred and eight. So I will write here four hundred and eight. Okay. Now let's move to problem number five. Problem number five here, I want to multiply 2,213 times four. تعالوا برضو نكتبهم under each others. Okay, يلا solve it with me. I will write the two numbers under each others as you see here. You will have to 2,213 times four. Okay, برضو I will start with the ones. يبقى كني بالضبط بعمل four times three. Here, yeah, 4 times 3 equals what? Yes, 12. So, 12, you put 2 in the 1's place and regroup the 1 in the 10's place, right? Type, tell multiply the 10's. You have 4 times 10. Here, yeah, 4 times 10 equals what? 40. Plus 10 equals what? 50, right? 50 or 5 tens. Hektibha zay, hektibha 50. Like this, okay? طيب بعدين هعمل multiply to the hundred. كني بعمل four times two hundred. Four times two hundred equals what? Of course, equals eight hundred. How can I write it? I will write here as eight hundred. Then what should I do? I will multiply the thousand. كني بالضبط بقول four times two thousand. Yeah, four times two thousand equals what? Equals eight thousand. تعال نكتبها كده eight thousand. But as we see, this is the ones, tens, hundred, and thousand. وبعدين هعمل إيه؟ I will add all these numbers. So my final answer is here. I have two, five, eight, eight. So the answer is a thousand eight hundred and fifty-two. Okay. Now we have problems six and seven left, but I am sure you can answer them in a very easy way. That being so, we have now achieved the target of today's lesson and we have learned how to use the standard algorithm to multiply a one-digit number by a whole number up to four digits and how to connect the Nurbut and multiplication strategies all together. To build your understanding and practice more, you can head to check your understanding by scanning the code in front of you or the one located in your books on page 277 in your school books. Thank you so much for your watching.